What's up my friends, Kevin here, the Tattoo Toy Owner, and today I decided to give you a little update on my toy room. It's a mess. <laughs> it's been a couple years coming that I've built a new toy room, or actually put together a legit toy room with my stuff. Now that we've moved, uh, I've had medical issues, and I've been busy work-wise, and I've slowly started putting together what I consider, you know, a decent toy room, I hope, in my opinion anyway. But anyway, I wanna go ahead and show you an update today of what uh, I've got done so far, and then maybe we can do a little bit of work on it. So let's go ahead and head inside here. All right, let's see. So here it is, folks. <laughs> it's uh, coming together. I've got a lot more work since what you've probably all seen last. But let's see, I put up my tattoo sign. I'll go show that off. Really like this piece that I found at a thrift store. <clears throat> and uh, I've gotten some work done. I've started the turning the corner in this side of the wall. Uh, today I'll put up a bunch of Carter figures. And I cleaned up some of the bottom part, as you can tell. And I threw a lot of trash away. I had so much trash from bags, just of toys, taking all the toys out. And uh, I cleaned up this bottom row, is the newest row, actually. And uh, I need to fill in the gap with a ton of loose figures. I've already put carded figures, as you can see, all the way around. Carded figures. So that's what I want to kind of work on today. And then up here, I, this is a new shelf as well several feet long and of course you can see all the carded figures here as well Brittany's just got to be in the collection <laughs> I don't have any more shelves so the next time I go and buy shelves I'm kind of guesstimating where the shelves gonna go I'll probably have to move these four up here higher and uh, work my way up to the ceiling so before we go in this section is something that I've been working on the last few months I want to go ahead and show it to you really quick <clears throat> okay, sorry, clearing my throat. This is kind of my Mego section right now. It's not a whole lot, but I got the Emerald City 74. Some of the traditional Wizard of Oz characters. Back there you see Dorothy, you see uh, Mego, Captain America 70s. You got Kevin from Home Alone 90s. My big Pee Wee, I think 80, 82, 84. And then of course my little Care Bears. I got a couple Gremlins there. Wearing the Mario hat. <laughs> and then you kind of work your way up. You see Ian there. On his, uh, I think this is an, an early 90s piece, his glider. And up here we got some more vintage uh, Jurassic Park vehicles. That is a non-vintage non -vintage gyroscope there. Couple pieces. I love the Coco movie. So that character's from the Coco movie. I have another character of me. Coco, did I hang him? I may have. Yeah, there he is. I was thinking about opening him up today, so the good guy and the bad guy can be there. And then moving up, of course I got Urkel. I got a couple of the Stooges. One of the Rocky figures, the Russian wife. And there's stuff in the back I had to kind of bury, unfortunately. Now if we work our way to the top, I want to kind of show off there. There's a lot of stuff just boxed because I need the space, so there's a lot of things behind things behind things. Some vintage Star Wars back there. TIE Fighters, Vader's TIE Fighter. Of course that uh, Fortnite Peely, I just like him so he, he got to go in my vintage collection. <laughs> and just various sorts of toys from Spawn and different things. You see Pennywise, we've got Hulk. You've got uh, Gumby's ride. I can't remember the right off the top of my head at the moment. Robots. There's Juggernaut. Some, some vintage Scooby stuff in the back. Some There's a board game back there too that's uh, Chucky. Rugrats. And then a lot of vintage uh, lunch boxes. There's some Street Shark stuff. Robots. Different dinosaurs. Different various stuff. Small soldiers in the back. That's Chucky, actually. The other character, I can't remember what I was thinking. The bald one, the kid. I'm sure someone will remember it. <laughs> <clears throat> There's some thermoses that go with some of my lunch boxes. 
This is always a good piece. Everybody loves uh, Rin and Stimpy. Lunch boxes, a few things that I've picked up on clearance uh, a year or so ago. Behind that is actually some really cool NECA uh, heat miser, freeze miser. I need to put them to where they can actually be seen. And the other stuff, oh, I love this sign, man. This is what I really like right now about this, what I'm putting together. I'll just kind of skim through this. We went over this once before. It's changed some, there's more stuff in here now. But it's various 80s and 90s toys. So, very proud of this. I know it's kind of not traditional, it's, it's all mixed, but I like it all, so I'm happy with doing this little mixed deal. I'm pretty satisfied with it, you know? I think as time goes and I unbox more of my stuff, I will start naturally putting them all together and I think they will work themselves into like uh, groups slowly. Biker Mice from Mars. That's the only Mezco 112th figure I own from my buddy Judson. Gifted it to me. Clever. That's a custom I did there. Misty Knight. My McDonald's changeables I love. You see the Karate Kid in the back. Got some LJN. Got some mask. G1 Insecticon. Looks like he fell over. I might need to pick him up eventually. <laughs> Swamp Thing. Vintage playset. Jumping into a couple of Supernaturals. And you can see the stuff in the back carded is in great shape. I just don't have room to display. So I have to do it this way, carded versus loose. <clears throat> and then this, after that, it's just an onslaught of TMNT, Barnyard Commandos, the Centurions, Rock Lords, just almost anything you can think of. Kind of just, we've already gone through this a little bit, so I'm just kind of just running through it again. Refrigerator Perry, I always loved it. They came out with a G.I. Joe of him. <laughs> I didn't always had it, needed to have it. I bought this custom Lee, uh, Stan Lee Lego figure because I wanted something to memorialize him in my toy room. Well, I do have on pre-order the six inch Marvel Legends and I get that in May, so I'm real happy to put him, I'm gonna put him on a throne somewhere, kind of make it all official. And I wanna place an area in my toy room where people like that that are heav heavily influenced my life. I wanna put an area and a toy and have like a little group where they're like kind of in charge of everything. Let me see some mask figures. Hexo Squad, various stuff. A lot of things I really like. G1 Optimus, some KOs that I'm down for. Of course, some of my vintage Jurassic Park stuff. Totally love all this. I'm still slowly collecting when I can find it. Alien vs. Predator Kenner. And of course, we got that big Voltron I got for 15 bucks. It was a good find. And another one of my favorite little sections, of course, is Food Fighters Kenner. Uh, going into my little Motu section. I'm actually going to have to put a bigger section. I have a lot of MOT, MOTU figures and stuff that I, I need to put up. There's a few here. Big robot in the back. Galactus, I need to find his other ear. That little piece fell off his helmet and I have it somewhere. My first bath there. What's his name? Uh, Inspector Gadget. Some robots. Then you get into my little alien and uh, Predator mashup. I, I love those old Kenner ones. So you can see I got a few of those. Small section there of uh, Silverhawks. I really enjoy. Then you go into the Rambo figures. Coleco, they're great. And then shooting down here, just briefly, you'll see I got a my little section of Family Guy. It's one of my favorite cartoons, so I definitely like picking those up when I can. I think I have a couple more to add to it that are not in this collection, in this uh, section here. Then we got a small section of the sect, sect, uh, what call it? Sect, Secticons and Sectarions. Go on blank on it. And then just kind of uh, miscellaneous figures everywhere. Team and Team mates with Dick Tracy, Motu. There's a really cool uh, Popeye there. See a Kenner Terminator. 
That's from uh, Men in Black, the big roach dude. I just picked up this wrestling ring recently for five bucks and I'm gonna use that to display my uh, Hasbro, my 90 Hasbro wrestlers and my Mattel retro wrestlers that match up with them until I get uh, the original, uh, original vintage Hasbro ring. Of course, this is an old uh, diner place that I picked up a couple years back, two or three years back that I really love and I'm gonna kind of permanently place it in my room like this and put some toys in it like that'll be a good way to display toys and the rest is just carded empty space where the, all the loose will go so basically that's uh what's up there now so now what I want to do is uh just start taking uh some of my loose figures and start filling in little sections and maybe I can even put up my Smurfs together. Today I wanted to do just a little section for them where they have fencing. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, set my camera up on a tripod and then let's uh, start putting some figures on the, on the, the shelves. Okay, I'm sorry if you don't hear me super well. I'm kind of gonna be away from the camera. And what I wanna do is, this is about, Less, a little less than two feet, probably a foot and three quarter uh, section here of empty space. I want to just fill this with as many figures as I can, you know. I don't have any purpose or reason what I'm putting and why, but I'm just going to fill it in for now and I can move it later if I really want to. So definitely want to start off with the biggest in the back so they show and they don't like, they aren't covered up by anything from the front. So this guy passed away, what, two, uh, two years ago? King Kong Bundy is a really awesome figure. And look at my Bracky, he's even able to get in the picture, that's cool. <laughs> the next tallest figure I have, of course, is this amazing, uh, this is NECA, I think, uh, Cheech and Chong. This is when he was in the rock band. My mama sucker do me, to build me up to live. One of my favorite comedies, <laughs> one of my favorite comedians. And I still need to get uh, Tommy Chong as well. But I'm happy to at least just have him for now. So he'll fit right in this little crease and we'll kind of cover up this bracket. So I think that looks good. <clears throat> and now I've got a couple of really big street sharks I'm gonna kind of set up in here. They're always big and bulky. And then I got this real cool super troll. Just gonna kind of put him back there. I want to put as much as I can in this section. These guys, I really love these guys. I got this whole thing a while back. They're knockoff, kind of knockoff Rambo figures. Really love these guys. I have a lot of, uh, a lot of. I got a few of these, like four. It's like a little team I have. And I also uh, have weapons, but they're probably, I'm gonna have to give them their weapons at a later time. They're all complete with weapons and all, and it's a shame I'm not sure if they're all together right now. I love this gun, I found, I can't remember where I found this, somewhere. But uh, let's just sit it here for now. Maybe I can leave it in there. I'll move it when I need to, when I get to wrestlers. <laughs> Here's some vintage goodness. Still works. This is my uh, Toy Biz. I think it's like 90. He's a big guy too. Let's see what we gotta put him. Yeah, he looks good there. Of course, we got a big old Thanos. We may end up filling this section with a, what it looks like a Toy Biz. Toy Biz stuff. My buddy uh, really blessed me to give pass me this. My buddy Blucher. Oh, he's a Morgan Guard. He's so amazing. Love that figure. Yeah, I'll put him over here. <clears throat> All right. So we got a lot of different stuff. We got like Bucky O'Hare figures. I think that's what he is. Oh, look at that. He has. Ah, that guy's cool. But I gotta get his legs perfectly like they're supposed to be or they won't stand. You gotta make sure they're perfectly both flat. <clears throat> oh, this is a cool one. It's an old uh, Carnage. Let's 
see where I can I didn't tuck him in back here. He doesn't look like he's gonna be standing too well. He will probably be a pain in the butt. So, some really cool vintage turtles. This nutcase looking chef. <laughs> Another TMNT guy here. Look at that big guy. You know who that is. That's the kingpin. Some more toy bits. This one's one of my faves, Maestro, but man, it's, it's so difficult. He has this amazing weapons and clothes, but they just don't stay on well. So I need to figure out a way to he just looks great. I don't have to find his weapons right now, too. But yeah, when he has everything together, he's just really cool. And this is, I do have him complete. It's so hard to keep this little suit on. Dang it. It's really big. I should have put him towards the back. Hold on, that guy. Oh, we got another giant. Man, I get all these giant. <laughs> I'll find somewhere where I can stick them where he's not taking up too much space. It's oh, another good looking Toy Biz figure. He's tall. I should have put him towards the back as well. <clears throat> and I've got a ton of him. I'm going to. Uh, one of my plans pretty soon is to do uh, on our Facebook page, the Toy Savages, I want to do uh, some auctions where you can and sell these guys cheap, you know, a buck or two or whatever, plus, you know, pay ship. But I want to do like some auctions because I have so many doubles and triples, it's crazy. So if anybody wants cheap toys, it's, it's in the plans. This, I should be putting him. Another biker mice. Let's see, I'll stick them back here in between figures. <clears throat> yeah, it'll be a lot of fun to do that. I want to kind of do an auction stuff. Yeah, I got biker mice everywhere, and they're still mixed in. I have a section just for biker mice, and I'm still messing up. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Hydro Man. And his arms look heavy as hell. This is what I was talking about for Maestro. He collected Thor and all this stuff. But then you get them together better. Yeah, I think this is Mummies Alive. This is some old vintage toys. Let's so put it together and throw it somewhere. Let's stuff a couple more if we can in here. His legs are so together. I'm mean, gonna eh, he stayed. Alright, let's see how this looks. Really? Oh shit. And like that, nothing's complete. I <laughs> lost it all. Isn't that horrible? was complete at one time. Now it's lost to the toy room. Okay. I should be used to it by now. <laughs> okay, so he has some really cool pharaoh wings. I like that. Real cool looking dude. Got a lot of armor. Let's get all his armor popped on. It's really nice. By putting this armor on, I could tell what I just lost. It looks really cool. So I need to find that the arm. This is great looking. You see him there? He's all armored up cool, but one arm isn't armored now because of me. <laughs> Put 
is. Oh, oh, everything. It was on so good. Sorry. So I gotta find out whatever failed. I'm pretty sure it was the arm. So anyway, he looks amazing. I like these figures. I do have one carded, but I don't think that, that carded one's all I ever had, and it's in good shape. It's somewhere on. But uh, he looks amazing. Let's see if I can... Prop him up for now. Scoot back, big boy. We're gonna put our mummy soldier here. I'm sure he has a better name, but he's mummy soldier. Not for now. <laughs> All right, so I think. Let's see. Let's put a couple more figures. I got some really good Twiggas figures over here. So there's space as long as you stand. I really want them to stand without falling and taking down 20 toys with them. This guy's complete with his gun, that's cool. Let's see, we get one more skinny dude. One more skinny dude. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and get a closer look. Okay, so that's a little section we just filled out. See, that was like a foot, foot and a half, I guess. And we put like a good 20, 20 action figures there. I think it looks great, fills in nice. Uh, next time, maybe we'll do another section together, like this big old long stretch. <clears throat> but uh, for now, I think that looks really good. Oh, and an update, I found that hand piece of hand armor for the mummy. I'm glad I found it, because that sucks to have it complete and then lose it as you put it together. But. Uh, we may put something something taller back there later because it's kind of. But anyway, King Kong Bundy's the giant bear. So I want to do one more little section, which is put up my uh, Smurf villages here in this little space, and that'll be it for this episode. So let me set my phone up one more time. All right, my friends. So this is going to be the last little piece we do. This is one of the newest sections. Is we're going to put our little Smurf village together. I want to kind of start a village. And uh, I ordered these from China like last year and they took like two months to come in but I still I put them away when they came in I kind of didn't do anything with them for a while but I got I bought these generic for a dollar some just so I could section off the village so anyway let's do that so here is the amazing amazing uh, Smurf home mushroom home that I got from my really good friend Rudy and his wife, which you all know and love, is the Walmart Rambler. <laughs> they bought me this from, this is actually from a company called, uh, uh, what is it called now? I'm gonna blow it, Schley or, I think it's Schley. And they're a German company. Well, they were in Germany and they bought this for me. And look how the detail, it's ridiculous. I mean, the doors actually open. I mean, it's just mind blowing piece, so. We're gonna put this here and that's gonna be part of it we'll do a closer shot of this of course once we get it all together because I want to show you everything now having shown you that piece we're gonna go into I bought another house unfortunately it's the colors not quite the same this is another uh, mushroom home but I think this one's actually a little older it doesn't matter they look pretty much similar so this one let me put this little some pieces on it this one doesn't have as many pieces but it's nice still super happy to have it so this is gonna be another home awesome smurf home I have unfortunately there's one window missing but this window is here This one will go here, this one here, and then uh, now we can put uh, some Smurfs around it. And I'm not kidding you, I have some Smurfs. 
uh, you won't be able to, I'm just gonna set up a ton of them here. No rhyme or reason. Of course you gotta, you gotta have Papa. What I wanna do, I guess, is put up the most iconic Smurfs, you know, the more well-known Smurfs. Look at these, some of these have bikes. I mean, these are great. We've kind of showed these before on the channel. I like this kind of stuff. <laughs> oh, this is another nice piece I forgot to add. So we can put a ladder there for no reason. Maybe we can find one of these Smurfs to actually stand on the ladder. Can y'all do that? They're, none of them bend or anything, but that works. That's kind of cool. Then we got some little, oh yay, it broke. <laughs> Should have known that was about to happen. Uh, oh well. Let's try it one more time. Do I dare try the second time? It failed the first time? Yeah, I think that one's gonna stay. So, we have some benches here, which is cool. I wanna actually move this over a little. And we can do like a little garden section back here in between the two. I'll show you in a minute. I know you can't see. Let me set these up. Yeah, that's that's a cool looking one. It looks like a jock ready to ready to run. Go back here. Really cool looking Smurfette. Everybody's favorite little Smurfette. Look at this guy. It's a cool cake. Can't beat that. Do y'all think since it's a special occasion, maybe I can let Gargamel hang out? <laughs> I don't know if I'll put them all right now. I mean, I probably should. <clears throat> I have tons of Smurfs, like, right now that I can't, they're in boxes. I'll eventually dig them all out. But right now, I just have X amount. Let's put some on some of these chairs. So eventually, I'm going to have to revisit uh, Smurf Village. Oh, look at that. Everybody loves that one. Smurfette, but she's like a Cupid. I mean, with only one female, I'm slim pickings on the dating scene. There's a clown Smurf. Wow. There's a Santa Claus Papa Smurf, which I think is awesome. These guys don't all stand as well as they should, which is unfortunate. So we got someone reading music. Ones that don't stand, uh, they're not as important if they don't stand well. I'll put them all around here. I don't want to take up too much. Look, this one's a fishing smurf. Oh, you gotta love smurfs. <laughs> I don't know who I'm gonna have them neighbor to because I actually do want to set up certain sections where, uh, you know, that's their like, I want like a Christmas village uh, halloween village do my halloween toys nightmare before christmas you know eventually want to have it set up where it's like a lot of fun like that we'll have to see how well that works yeah these are some really cool does anybody else collect smurfs or you have a collection let me know in the comments let me know what you think about smurfs i know a lot of my friends tell me they can't stand them that it's not their cup of tea and i don't hate i get it you know i grew up enjoying the cartoons uh, the smurfs you know when i was a kid i'm from the early 70s so we had different types of stuff back then so that's why i think i have such a crazy collection of stuff some of these I'm not gonna, they're not gonna get to live here because they're pains to stand. But that's okay though. Oh, like that one, I mean, shit. Sorry. He's weird, he looks like he's supposed to be in water, but I mean, what do you do, have him lay down all weird? And this guy is sitting, so let's put him up here. He can be the weirdo up on the, There you go. Sit up there. Oh man. Of course now I find some cooler pieces. Okay, let me show you what I... another papa, but he's in a seated position. Let me get 
give him a chair. Let's sit him on the edge here. For... And I buried the chair under people. <laughs> This is like a little, this goes over here on the house. But dang, I already got so many things set up, it's gonna all fall apart. Okay, now let me show you these group, I have a group of figures. So I was talking about, this is actually some that Elsa bought for me. So these are newer ones, which is cool. We got Azrael and Gargamel. So we'll keep them on the outside for now. Just kind of looking in. And then, uh, let's see, they got me a new, I love this character, and I need to get the female one, the sister. You remember the movie where Gargamel made these new again? Really cool. And then here's another Gargamel. There's so many. <laughs> I don't really need to be buying anymore now. This is plenty. Just putting them wherever now because... Okay, so what I want to do is use these fences to see how easy these snap together. I'm gonna fence this off at least two sides and then uh, we'll take a look at it and then we'll call this an episode. <laughs> and it's gonna be long, it's already like 20, 30 minutes. I shouldn't have done that, but sorry. It was fun. Oh man. Okay, so yeah, these are. Huge pain. So it's gonna take a little while. So let me put these together and I'll get right back with you. Okay, my friends, so here we go. Here is the village all put together. Doesn't look bad. It wrapped around nicely for being cheap uh, fencing. I just need, I saw like a Smurf piece where it's like a, you know, just like an entrance to like a ranch or something. I want to get that piece, I'll order it and put it there so it has like a doorway. And as you can see, my Smurf Village is happening. There's a ton of them right now. And I have more, but I want to get some of the real cool, unique ones like this one Elsa got me. But as you can see, they're all different and really cool. I didn't see any doubles, which was awesome. And then you got Gargamel spying over there in Azrael. <laughs> and then of course you got whatever that Smurf is up on the top of the ladder. Throw on his tongue. You got one sitting up there being all weird. There's a couple benches there. They're chilling and playing games. Uh, and both houses look great. I wish I would, because they make yellow blue tops. I wanted really different colors. So we may add one more to this. Two is actually probably pretty good. We may add one more and call it a deal. But I like the fact that they're right next door to the Care Bears. <laughs> So anyway, this is gonna be my video. I'm sorry it went so long. I just kind of needed to put something out there. I'd actually been in the hospital for a few days, really sick, and wasn't able to create any content. I'm feeling a little better now and I'm home, so this is kind of what I wanted to show off. So I hope you enjoyed it. We'll be doing more uh, constant, like more episodes of this, like building my toy room, because I think it helps motivate me to put it together. If not, then I'll be here doing nothing, so. Next time we'll do something different or we'll do different types of uh, toys. I've got all kinds of stuff we could do. Like I really want to get into the Scooby-Doo figures that 50th anniversary because I have vintage ones too and I could put them all together. They could live in the that uh, big old van there, the mystery machine. Okay, folks, so that's going to be my video. Until next time, this is the Tattoo Twitter reminding you never give up that hunt. Pew, 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 pew. Y'all take care. Peace.